our reading comes from Genesis, the first chapter. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was formless and void. Darkness covered the face of the deep, while the wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good and separated the light from darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And there was the evening and there was also morning the first day. And God said, let there be a dome in the midst of the waters and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made a dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And it was so. God called the dome sky and there was evening and there was also morning the second day. And God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered together in one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit and seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind and trees of every kind bearing fruit with seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And then there was evening. And then there was also morning, the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate day from night. And let them be signs for seasons and for days and for years. Let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was also morning the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and birds. Let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created great sea monsters and every living creature that moves and of every kind with which waters swarm and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply, fill the waters in the seas and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle, creeping things and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made wild animals of the earth of every kind and the cattle of every kind and everything that creeps upon the ground of the earth. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air, over the cattle and over all the wild animals of the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the face of the earth. So God created humankind in God's image, in the image of God created them. Male and female, God created them. God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air and over every living thing that creeps upon the face of the earth. God said, see, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have food from them. And to every beast of the earth and to every bird of the air and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has 
breath of life, I have given every plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he had made. And indeed, it was very good. And then there was evening. There was morning, the sixth day. Genesis, the second chapter. Thus, the heavens and the earth were finished. And all their multitude. And on the seventh day, God finished the work that God had done. And God rested on the seventh day from the, all the work that God had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. And because, because on it, God rested from all the work that God had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. The word of the Lord. The sand, God, the jeweler of the heavens, God, the potter of the land, you are womb of all creation, we are formless, shape us now. God, the nuisance to the pharaohs. God, the cleaver of the sea. God, the pillar in the darkness. God, the beacon of the free. lead us now God the dresser of the vineyard God the planter of the wheat God the reaper of the harvest God the source of all we Unexpected infant, God, the calm deterred you, God, the table turning prophet, God, the resurrected truth, you are present every moment. searching need us now. 